Today's guest, and yes, we are doing guest again over here at uh, Fork and Sake. Today's guest is a fellow uh, metal brethren. Brethren, you've seen me on stream with him, done some streams of Geese and Gamers with him, love what he's doing in the independent circuit and being a musician, and we're going to be discussing all of that here. So without further ado, let me introduce my guest to you all, my man's Dan Vass, brother. What's up, man? What's How you doing? Up? <laughs> hey, are we live right now? Yes. Yes. Oh, my soul. <laughs> oh, my soul, man. You guys are sucking my soul. Are you happy in the chat right now? You guys have little pieces of Dan Vask's soul right now. <laughs> We're actually going to be talking about yeah. that uh, today because holy cow, what a what a story that that was and how that that absolutely turned out. Just such a, a goofy story uh, all around. But I want to open... Uh, uh, with more of a more of a sort of introduction. So obviously your page is massive on YouTube. You've done some original stuff. A lot of people know you for your cover work, doing uh, uh, various songs the Dan Vask way, uh, if you will. So I got to start with that because I know the audience is going to be intrigued. How does one get into you know doing that? as far as doing doing the vocal covers and when was it or what was it that just absolutely exploded the channel and had so many people intrigued because for you guys that don't know he's closing in on a million uh, uh subscribers on youtube which is absolutely insane but yeah dan just break it down um because i'm sure it was a journey for you yeah man i'm very grateful for where things are right now for sure but I, I really, I really see myself as not having, not having much of a choice, being kind of cornered into doing it, because I was, I spent a lot of time trying to make it in the music market for the traditional, uh, with the traditional means, like recording an album, recording a demo, and searching for record labels and, and trying to to look for gatekeepers who would believe in me and open the gates of opportunity for me. And that that what's what was pretty much all about in the 80s, 90s and, and even 2000s. But uh, after being rejected a ton and, and just being confronted with the reality check that was actually working on that industry i got i got to see some of the actual contracts that i would have to submit myself mm. to i was like no <laughs> no way i want to go independent now so yeah I, I i by that time i was already on youtube to some level but more like as a hobby trying to to uh, uh balance balance it with other stuff with day jobs teaching music teaching singing in music schools and that sort of stuff but after that realization i just went all in, in on youtube which was around 2017 ish at the end of two, 2017 i decided to go all in on youtube and it was in 2020 that my channel really exploded mm. with the the cover of toss a coin to your witcher which ended up being more successful than the original. <laughs> I mean, in terms of raw numbers, that's crazy. check my cover on YouTube and the, the actual track, official track on YouTube. My, my, my cover has more views, large margin. Uh, and that motherfucker of a show runner and talk you to the quartering <laughs> on Twitter. Oh yeah. Never sent me a single tweet. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, after that, it, it was like, it, then it's the promised land, yeah. right? It, it's like, it's the, the desert side of the journey is over. It's over and it's the promised land. And I have been fortunate enough to be able to do this for a living, not only do this for a living, but doing that comfortably, living a comfortable life doing it. So it's awesome. Got to meet, got to meet awesome people like you yeah. and, and Gary and the Geeks and Gamers guys and this awesome chat. I, I'm very blessed. Yeah, and again, and that's what it's about. It's it's cool to see like everybody that they all have that moment that you know kind of blew the channel up and or you know got people more intrigued uh, into their work and to see people be able to live off of their creativity has been something that is um, 
uh, I mean, it's just awesome. It's just an awesome feeling. I know you, again, we're going to talk about Hassan and his goofy comments, but, you know, to be able to wake up and enjoy what it is that you're doing creatively, Dude. it's, oh, man, it's, it's just no better feeling, man. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Riververse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Riververse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira.